and a very good evening to everybody out there, all my viewers and beyond. It's uh, right now Wednesday, March 28th, 2018. It's uh, approximately 9.04 p.m. We're here near the Champ de Mars metro station. Also, roughly translated means field of war or field of Mars, which is, the, of course, the god of war. And right now I'm facing more or less to the north. This is facing to the west, uh, just to give you a geographical appreciation of uh, where I am. And I was actually hoping tonight to film this tunnel here because I realized I never actually took a video through this tunnel. And I think the main reason was that this tunnel has been closed for about a year, year and a half, two years because of construction that's going on here. Uh, the Ville Marie, uh, they're going to be filling it in. I'm not sure what the progress is. Uh, that's actually why I wanted to film as well tonight. But this uh, tunnel here basically uh, leads pedestrians from the metro station, which you see over there. Basically, you go into the door there, and it brings you right underneath the tunnel, the Ville Marie tunnel, uh, the Ville Marie Expressway, pardon me. Uh, so that tunnel goes underground, and the Ville Marie Expressway as you can see is uh, pretty much right over it and these are other entrances uh, now this building here is one of the entrances there's one there there's also one you can kind of see here if you take a peek on the other side it's the one straight ahead there that's another entrance and finally you'll see it in a minute there's another one on Saint Antoine uh, which is this street here, St. Antoine, uh, which I'm now facing south, by the way. So, you know, I just wanted to do a bit of a walking video around here. Beautiful moon tonight, uh, beautiful spring evening. And I'll just quickly, for about 10 seconds, show you the skyline of the city. Zoom in a little bit there. There's Place Ville Marie, straight ahead, that building with the beacon light on it. And as I said, this is the Ville Marie Expressway which continues uh, straight east and uh, leads to the Turka interchange if you kept continuing in that direction. And there's a tunnel that goes under the Palais de Congrès, which is that building straight ahead. It's also a fire station there. I did a couple of videos there. Uh, so, you know, it just gives you an idea of what's around here. So I'm just going to walk around tonight, uh, you know, kind of show you around. I may have walked around here a few times. This is that new super hospital, the French super hospital, uh, the CHUM, I believe it was, that they just recently built, uh, just opened up. I've been hearing some stories, unfortunately, uh, a lot of complaints going on in there about different things, different issues. There's some offices right there, administrative offices don't know exactly what they're for who knows but uh, anyways I'm just curious as something I wonder if those papers if there's anything confidential on them and to have them stored next to the window like that might be a, a breach of confidentiality I don't know just a random thought coffee maker in there anyways just some random sightings so again, this hospital just opened up in the last uh, year or so. And of course, this is not to be confused with the Vendôme Metro Station, the hospital near there. That's the English Super Hospital. Uh, the Royal Vic Montreal Children's is in there as well as the Shriners. This one's uh, more for the French population. So we'll walk down here. I wanted to show you actually, there's an interesting feature if you actually walk down here. Uh, you'll see it in a minute. We're gonna head We're actually walking right now to the north and I wanted to show you this for a while actually it was uh, This is by the way VJ square down there, but I wanted to show you this for a while It's actually a church that used to be here and they integrated the old church building I guess it was the tower of the church and they integrated it into the hospital building here. I 
So we'll walk down here and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Very cold night tonight actually. It's the thing about this time of year, the sun is very deceiving. I actually have this on, it's the lining or actually it's the, yeah, the in, because my jacket that I have, the winter jacket, which is going to get replaced soon, has two parts to it. It has the outside shell and it has the inside lining and I pretty much just have the lining on right now. So uh, what we're going to do is walk down here. But anyways, back to what I was saying, I mean it's kind of chilly with this. It looks thick but it is a little chilly. But uh, you know I'm able to maintain comfort. So we're going to take a look here. This is what I wanted to show my viewers. This is a uh, show you here first. So it's actually an old church building that they integrated into this newer building. And as the construction was going on, I was watching this for a while. I wonder if it's open. I don't know if it's open or not. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. It's just an interesting architectural feature. There's an interview of that hospital right there. So we're gonna walk uh, back to the way we came. Actually, I'll do a, maybe I'll do a roundabout, go over here. I'll head west and then I'll head back south. Just to give you an idea of what's around here. These new buildings. Um, I guess that's the ambulance entrance, or actually the ambulance exit from one of the hospital's main buildings. You can see there's two, three ambulances in there. For you emergency vehicle lovers, try to zoom in as best I can. One, two, three of them. I guess that's the main uh, ambulance bay. And the emergency 